Now let's come to a very important theorem called Ampere's Ampere's Circuit Law. And the law is something like this, and it derives from what we what we derived earlier, the field due to an infinite wire. So let there be an infinite wire, right? And and we saw that the field at a distance of d from here will be equal to it will be equal to mu naught i by 2 pi d mu naught i by 2 pi d into the plane of the paper right we also know that this this field is actually a circular field and is always in the direction of in the in the direction given by the right hand rule so if if this is my current then the field is actually in this direction right and circular now what ampere did was was he tried to move around around this field and tried to find out b dot dl b dot dl right okay. now now what is b dot dl see the dl that, that means one small small element right that is along the direction of the loop is in the same direction as is in the same direction as b so in in effect in effect your b and and your your dl they are in the same direction they are making an angle of zero degrees right so b dot dl is equal to is equal to b into dl into cos zero degree right which is which is which is nothing but and, and he went all around the loop so so we put a circle here saying that we are moving in a in a loop that means our starting and the end point are the same now this this got converted into this kind of equation cos 0 is 1 and 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 we further argue that at a distance d the magnitude of the field is always a constant as long as d remains a constant yes the direction is moving but but we are not talking about the direction here we are just talking about the magnitude so so at the same distance the magnitude has to be the same so so that becomes so so b being a constant that comes out of the of the integral sign and only dl remains so so we in effect have to integrate the length total length of the loop which in this case becomes which in this case becomes 2 pi d right we are moving on the circumference of a circle whose radius is d so that is 2 pi d and what is the value of b b we had found out to be this right so it was mu naught i upon 2 pi d into 2 pi d right and they cancel and this becomes this becomes equal to equal to mu naught into i right so 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 in the simple case in the symmetrical case of this we find that b dot dl is indeed mu naught i where i is nothing but the i enclosed we call it i enclosed enclosed by what enclosed by the by the loop so so this is L, right I enclosed enclosed by the loop let me be kind of so it is I I enclosed by the loop so you not I enclosed right so so this is kind of this and this and this right now what Ampere did was this he tried to first of all not let this be not let this be an infinite wire okay 
so so we changed the first restriction that the wire could be off could be off finite length but nevertheless if it is finite length there has to be a circuit that is to be completed so you will you'll consider that whole circuit okay it just cannot be that that it's just hanging in the air and there is a current flowing a circuit needs to be completed so so you have to consider that into account finite length but but in a complete circuit but in a complete circuit now the second thing is that he said it's not essential that there is only one wire so there could be multiple wires and not all necessarily centered at the center of the circle right so there can be multiple wires there can be multiple wires placed anywhere in the loop placed placed anywhere within the loop placed anywhere within the loop and the third thing is that and the third thing is that then he removed the restriction on the circular nature of the loop so the loop can be of any shape the loop can be of any arbitrary shape it can be of any arbitrary shape right and then to this held and this is what is called the amperes amperes circuit law okay this is ampere circuit law fine now how do i know what is the current so current direction can also change how do i know what is i enclosed right what is my i enclosed so for that for that he gave us a a way to find that out so let us say that a stretched membrane uh, there is a membrane stretched across the loop okay if if a membrane is stretched across the loop stretched across the loop okay then the current that pierces that loop then the current that that pierces that membrane pierces that membrane is is the current enclosed get that that is the current enclosed that is number 1 now how do we take the positive and negative direction of the current so that current is to be taken as positive okay in which direction if we put our thumb of the right hand the fingers curl around the direction of the loop let us try to understand this may sound complicated if we if we keep if we keep the fingers if we keep the fingers of the right hand if we keep the fingers of the right hand in the direction of the in the direction of of the loop in the direction of in the direction 
in the direction in which we traverse the loop in which we traverse the loop then the current that is in the direction of our that is in the direction of our thumb that is in the direction of the right thumb is taken as positive is taken as positive and the other direction is taken as negative and the other direction is taken as negative okay now this membrane piercing current is not the only way to understand the current enclosed because this will become very important when you go go and try to understand the maxwell's law he said that if if considering this as the rim of a of a of a pitcher okay of the rim of the pitcher if it is any surface if it is say any surface okay let's say this is a pitcher this is a this is a closed surface right this is a closed surface no, no, not a single line okay so if if this constitutes the surface then whatever current pierces this surface is also the enclosed current and you'll find that both these currents are the same right so the current can also be so the current can also be the current can also be can also be that current which pierces the surface of the pitcher whose mouth is the whose mouth is the rim of the loop Who, whose mouth is the rim of the loop this becomes very vital when when maxwell asked a question and 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 that led to a whole new field of of the of the electromagnetic waves right so so that that will become extremely important there but as far as our ampere's law is concerned it is b dot dl over the whole loop is always equal to mu not into i enclosed and and as it happened in the in the gauss's law and as it happened in the gauss's law okay so as it happens in the gauss's law while calculating your b so what happens you come here you calculate the b due to all right due to all you take this dl you find this b dot dl Let, let's say your your b is this your your dl is that you yeah, compute it at this point move forward right so while taking the field you will take even those currents which are causing the field and are external to the loop okay while considering while calculating b while calculating b we will take take even those currents even those currents which are currents this is this is double r right currents even those those currents which are external to the external to the loop 
okay but finally the the, the b dot dl that you'll get will be u not into i enclosed right 